And of course, if you've uh, never checked your headspace before, once you've removed your extractor, your extractor pin, your extractor, your ejector pin, your ejector roll pin, your ejector injector spring, you reassemble the bolt without those items with your uh, with your with your cam pin, your uh, your firing pin, and your cotter pin. And so now you've got basically got a bolt that's assembled that doesn't have an ejector or an extractor. And you'll take your uh, your go no go gauge. You're going to put it in the chamber. That's a PTG 556, and it should not be able to close on the chamber. You should have a gap right here, so it will not close. And that means that uh, the no go gauge, if if it did close, your chamber would be too large and out of spec, and you might have a. Uh, a kaboom when you want to go fire your gun. Um, it's also a good idea to uh, to have a, a go gauge so that it does close on so that your, your chamber isn't too small or too short. But uh, with most bolts, uh, when they cut a chamber, that's not going to be an issue. I just check the no-go and then if I can chamber a, a, a NATO round, then uh, you're good to go. So that's it, checking your, uh, check your, your uh, headspace relatively simple but something that has to be done if you're building a gun you can buy bolts and barrels that are pre headspace at the factory but um, this happens to be a fax and barrel and a Bravo company bolt so quality parts are usually not going to be an issue like this is but if you get some off-brand weird stuff you never know uh, Faxon is fantastic Bravo company is fantastic I've never had an issue I've never had anything not go, not be in spec with a Bravo company or a Faxon build.